All right, guys, so let's talk about the main controversial event that's going on with the brand new iPhone 7, which I think is the game changer, which is the removal of the headphone jack. You know, everybody's bitching, everybody's complaining. I think it's all this hyped up. If you really don't like this, I think you need to grow the hell out. This is over a hundred year old technology. And one thing I will not uh, miss doing is when I pull a set of headphones out of my pocket, I'm sure you've all been there and see a big hot mess like this. And now I gotta freaking try to untangle this. You know, maybe it'll take me 30 seconds, but I want that 30 seconds. I like that 30 seconds. I'd rather just pull my headphones out, boom, be wireless and ready to go. So I think that this is a move that every other cell phone company is gonna have to follow in Apple's footsteps because they just changed the game again. All right guys, so let's actually unbox the iPhone and see what we got going on here. This is, I've actually already opened my phone. Boop. But uh, this is actually Robert who works for me, so I'm gonna open up your phone. Sorry, Bob. Uh, you don't get to be the first one to open this all for the fans, so that just works. Uh, so let's take a look. Here we go. This is the iPhone 7 unboxing. See what we got in the package. There's the headphones. So we just got the beautiful looking iPhone here. It's got the little nice wrap on it. It's the iPhone 7, regular size S. All right, guys, so these are the headphones that come with the actual iPhone. You know, these obviously are a lightning connection, but this is the adapter that comes with it so that you can still use your 3.5 millimeter headphones if you wish. My only complaint here is that uh, here's the connection. You know, I travel a lot with work uh, and for fun and when I'm on a plane, a lot of times I'm connected uh, to charge and I also have my 3.5 millimeter audio jack in at the same time so I can listen to music or do whatever I'm doing. With this new setup, you can't actually do that without having an additional adapter that I believe Belkin has uh, an actual new uh, adapter that they just come out with. I'm sure iPhone or Apple will actually come out with one as well. But that's my only complaint about this new technology other than when I get those brand new uh, AirPods that are coming out uh, in about a month or so and we'll actually do a little review of those as well. But anyways, guys, that's the unboxing of the iPhone 7. All right, y'all, it is time for the fingerprint test. Let's get this thing nice cleaned up. You know, a lot of people have been complaining about the jet black with a lot of fingerprints all over it. So this is the matte black phone. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, just during the line, I don't see any fingerprints here, but let's get start doing nice thumbprints everywhere here. So, boom. I mean, I'm a relatively clean guy, I suppose, but uh, you know, everybody's got stuff on their hands. Uh, so I don't know if we can see here, but not too bad, you know, there's obviously gonna be some fingerprints, but overall, you know, the matte black has got a pretty good uh, resistance to fingerprints as opposed to that jet black, which I've seen uh, some terrible videos of. You know, any phone's gonna have fingerprints, but this is actually pretty well uh, fingerprint resistant. All right, y'all, it is time to do the iPhone 6 iPhone 7 comparison test. Now, obviously the most uh, visual difference you can see here is my busted ass iPhone 6S. I actually just got this screen replaced last week so that I could trade it in for the iPhone 7. Unfortunately, uh, mixing blacking out while carrying your iPhone tends to lead to waking up to a broken iPhone screen. So now I gotta go fix this freaking again. So that's the main difference that I can tell because they obviously look the exact same. Other than when you flip the actual phones over, you can see that this is the old space gray. Uh, they you know, changed that these lines are not here anymore because they removed the antenna and actually have it wrap around up top here. I don't know if you can see it too well, uh, but it actually comes around the top here instead of over uh, through here. And they actually, you can see the screens or the phone actual cameras. You can see that the iPhone 7 is uh, a little bit bigger than the uh, iPhone 6S. So that's kind of the main differences here. Other than that, they look virtually almost identical. Obviously, we still have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that all you little bitches are bitching about, but I am stoked that that's gone. I'm ready to get some wireless headphones up in here so that I can actually, uh, you know, listen to some carefree music without those stupid chords in my face all, the, uh, all day long. But anyways, guys, there's literally virtually almost no difference in design with these two phones other than the antenna as well as the camera and the removal of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Next up, we're gonna talk about the home button, which they changed slightly here, guys. If you look at the old iPhone 6S, you know, there is the home button here. They actually have to push down. You can feel yourself 
pushing that button down. You can kind of hear that click. I don't know if you can hear it or not. With the new iPhone 7, there is no actual button to push down, but it's almost like you feel a vibration. Every time you click that button, uh, you literally feel it uh, almost like there's just a little vibration or that sensation of uh, when you feel your phone vibrate, that's kind of what it feels like when you push that uh, home button. So it's actually kind of cool. You don't actually have to have that moving part, uh, but that's one of the only feature changes of the iPhone 7 and iPhone 6S with that home button. All right guys, so a lot of people wanna know if there's a difference in the camera or the screen. So this is a picture of when we were traveling in the Dominican Republic. This is uh, Robert, who is the director of operations at Fuselaris, is taking a normal picture, just two guys, you know, just taking a really hot, uh, good pose right off the, uh, the pool side. Uh, of our mansion that we had in Dominican Republic. So just a normal picture, great screen, great camera. Now is it a difference between the iPhone 7? Uh, hard to tell, here's a video from the iPhone 7 of me wake surfing, uh, just a normal guy on his boat uh, with some booty involved in there. So just, there's Robert asked me questions uh, while I'm trying to film this video, but uh, Overall, can I tell the difference in the camera? It's supposed to be improved, but honestly, there's not that much difference here other than uh, these two guys looking really uh, romantic together and these two people, me and this chick, uh, wake surfing off my boat. All right, guys, so for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Cameron Foos. I've been a professional day trader for 12 years. So let's just take a look at my account just from today. We'll open up my speed trader and I want you to see my login here. Boom, portfolio. We'll just look at the two stocks that I'm in from today. So I'm a day trader. This means that I'm in and out of stocks very quickly. Today, I'm up 3,500 bucks on GoPro and TKAI. And that's what's possible using the Foos4 trading strategy. If you actually look at my trading setup here, what I'm doing here is just uh, filming a YouTube video, but this is actually where I work every day. I have these two Dell 34 inch monitors. If you haven't watched my trading setup, $10,000 trade review or trading setup review, you should definitely check that out. That's what I do for a living, guys and that's what's possible with the Foos4 trading system. Anyways, guys, that is a wrap for the iPhone 7 video. I'd highly recommend it. You can either buy an iPhone 7 or go get yourself a Samsung and possibly burn your face off like I got almost with these lights here. This is literally what I do here as I sit here and play with these lights and make YouTube videos all day. But anyways, if you wanna learn how to trade stocks like I do, check out Fooslers.com and go with the Foos4 mentorship program and let's make some bank.